man. What's up? So it is now recording. So don't hey. say no incriminating stuff. All right, the fans watching. Done. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, so what the fuck? Shit. Ah, I love it. I love it. Where are you? are in Houston, you said? I'm, yeah, I'm in Houston now. So after I finished at Clark Atlanta, um, I had no reason to stay there. It was too many vices in Atlanta, and my kids were dying. Hey, keeping it real, shit. I'm just saying. Hey, shit. <laughs> Nigga was moving. Yes, <laughs> so, you No, know, my kids, me and my mom, my baby mom, we didn't, you know, we cool now. So, um, you know, I moved that down. The kids, they almost finished with high school. They'll be done. Both of my kids will be done high school in December. Oh, that's so, awesome. But you got a kid, too. You got more than two? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. My son, he just turned 18 in March, and my daughter will be 17 in August. Oh, so good. Yeah, so, hey, hey, I got two more. Like, yeah, I ain't got time to play. Nah, they good, they good. I actually told them, I told them, I was like, I don't want them going to college for a year. Just have a gap year. Let your daddy run all this game on you, and then you good. I love it. Save daddy some money. College HBCUs, well, I already had a plan to save HBCUs. Mm. Like, they're crumbling as we speak right before us. So that's the plan. I love it. I love it. So. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Let me, uh, cause we run out of time, but yeah, I got a five o'clock. Sorry. You good. You good. You good. You good. Um, let me see. So I guess the whole point was, I just wanted to see what you were working on. Maybe throw some stuff off of, you know, some ideas real quick. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me if you're down to tell me your fuck ups. Like, I don't want to know all your fat, your successes. I want to know every time you fail. That's mm. the shit I want to know. Mm. Like in real time, like up to today. Even like if you woke up on the, you felt like the wrong side of the bed, you were like, if I would have done it this way and this way, whatever, like the, even down to that, to the days, whatever you fucked up or even mm -hmm. in the industry or any shit like that. And my yeah. bad, I curse a lot. Sorry, I've been in the army all them years. Where does recording go in though? Let me know. You good, it ain't going nowhere. This is our, trust me, this one is our, you can use it for whatever the hell you want to use it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it for my personal knowledge. Oh. I mean, fuck ups. Let me see. In terms of like, Oh, yeah. we get going. Go ahead. The whole point is, like, I guess the goal of this is I want to get in the content creation game. Okay. So, like, short, I have, a, let me, let me just, you know what? Yeah. Let me Start tell you there. what I have, and then you tell me what you can, how you can work with this. Okay. Okay. All right. So, quit my job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, you're an awesome Great. job. Congrats. Yeah. So, okay. So, content. So, I've been thinking maybe short films or whatever. I've got an idea for St. Louis, like, to put St. Louis on the map. Like how I've always wanted to document the year 2000, um, how, you know, we won the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. uh, Hope came that year, Nelly dropped Country Grammar, and we thought how us St. Louis has felt, we thought how black people felt when Obama was in office. Mm. We was all like, we finna take over the world. It's us. We finna run all this rap shit, and we gonna run circle around y'all niggas so we don't work hard, nobody pay attention to us. Y'all did for a while. Us, and then Nelly capping, and what the fuck happened? What happened? I don't so, even know what happened. I don't know why it stopped. Oh, I could put you on game to that shit. Okay, all right. So, this this like is Murphy gonna, Lee, uh, Nelly. Um. This is gonna be a whole conversation. Whatever, we'll, we'll work with it. It's cool. I just got your time. All right. So what happened was, Nelly blew up, but in the city he was shutting a lot of shit down. Like there's a lot of hate. So Drake, his style is more Pretty Willie ish mm -hmm. than Nelly's. Mm -hmm. If you listen to Pretty Willie, I'm, I'm not know you're familiar with dude. P Dub, he's on the radio. Nope. You oh. Hold on. I swear, I'm, I can't wait till I'm your level and I got other people handing shit for me. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Coming to calls. You don't know, how are you in the content game? You don't know who P-Dub is. You don't, do you, you don't, do you mess with Christian circles? Christian? Yeah. That's why. That's why. Hmm. Look up P-Dub. Do what he see doing. That's somebody, you know, if you want to, there's some free shit right there. So um, he was hating on a lot of the local artists. So he hated on Chingy over a word like dirty. Who found dirt? Like St. Louis is a very hate-filled city. Like if you can make yeah, it out of here, it's one of those, if you make it out of here, you can make it anywhere. Right, right, right. Like there's a lot of hate. Like, okay, so, and then, yeah, just to show you the level of hatred, that dude, the rapper Huey, they got killed recently. Mm, like, yeah. There was people wishing on his death or whatever. Like it's crazy. That's how much hate is out of, out of coming out of St. Louis. So let me get to the point. Mm -hmm. All right. So there was this whole, there was these groups that were trying to come up, but Nelly was shutting shit down. Mm -hmm. So either I want to document, I can always, I can always run a show off of that. Right. A documentary of bringing sports, music, 
and our impact because Twitter, you know what St. Louis, Twitter was invented in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. um, St. Louis influenced the whole sound of Atlanta. Metro Boom is from St. Louis. Like mm -hmm. we're, the, we're the influencers. We, we run, like St. Louis is really the, the influence of everything. Mm -hmm. The right smack dab in the middle of the fucking country. All right, are you keeping up with me? I am, I'm tracking. Okay, I love okay, it. all right. So there we go. That's a whole project I want to work on. Um, I'm already kind of working on it. Like, I'm trying to get people, um, like, I'm going to let you know now. It's not organized yet. I'm going to get it there. I just need a little help. It'll all come to place. Good. I don't want to, I just don't want to pitch you shit and you like, ah, oh, you know, nah, 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 nigga. I'm going to tell, tell you the bullshit too. We good, we good. Okay, all right. So I got, I know, see, I got, I'm, I'm starting to link with people. I got to build connections, you know, the whole codes and shit like that because people will come shut shit down. Yeah. That is a fucking, like, we could put St. Louis on the map. Like, with that shit right there. Mm -hmm. um, I got an amazing documentary. Um, yeah, so that's a documentary. Um, I'm working with this uh, comic out of Kentucky. Um, mm -hmm. Think, uh, have you ever heard of Patrice O'Neill? Yeah. Okay, so I'm trying to recreate the Patrice. So I think I found him. Like, I just okay. looked out of, out of Kentucky, little band geek or whatever. And mm -hmm. so I was like, we was connecting. I was like, I really like your shit. Um, but he was like, he's, his whole thing is, you know, talking about how you don't get no ass. And I'm like, dog, you ain't going to get no pussy talking about I ain't getting no pussy, dog. And that joke gets old real quick. Right. So you need to have some money. <laughs> something. So you need to come up with something. So mm -hmm. how about you take my life, you take all the shit I was talking about for my life, like my fly shit, all these hoes, my bad. I, you can I'm say whatever you want, man. Okay. We go. All, right. all these hoes I be fucking, all, these, mm -hmm. all the dumb shit that I done, I done caught with the tricks and shit that I am played with, and coming from you, it's, it's literally like Diddy with Biggie. So what he did with Biggie, like how Biggie was black, ugly, mm -hmm. all this shit. Nobody, like, oh, you fucking hoes like this? Right. So right. I got a nigga for that. So if okay. you want to do some fucking, I got a nigga for that. Um, let me see what else we got. Um, I'm trying to get into the music game too, just Ooh. helping. So um, I'm starting um, Forest Artist Development because they ain't no more artist development no more. And these niggas be fumbling. Like I listened to Summer Walker's last album, too auto tuned. It's too no 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 no. Hold on. Oh shit. Ah. Ah. Okay. I'm back on this thing. All right, go. Oh. I was like, did you freeze? What's going on? Yeah, it's the internet, man. The government's on some shit. Like they're slowing people down. Yes. And I just upgraded. And so that's what they're trying to get people to, everything's going to be digital. Yep. What was I talking about before then? Uh, Summer Walker, Art of Auto Tune. It's too auto tune. Yep. So you don't have, so music is so computerized now, you have no soul, you have no feeling, mm -hmm. nothing like that. Because these motherfuckers got too much pain that they're trying to run from. Have you ever been mm -hmm. on Summer Walker's other page? No. Follow her Galactahor account. Interesting. That's the shit I want her to get off. That's the content. Like, if somebody gave me Summer Walker, I could, I could. Interesting. Like, the only reason why I'd be able to get my creative bag is because I wasn't going to school. And, like, I just did that shit for fucking, because I just got them two degrees, because fucking my mama said, you know, go to school, whatever. Get them degrees. Look, I did this shit. I know, you told so, me. If you, if you need, if you need, if you don't trust a nigga, like, look, I did this shit with barely trying. So, Damn. When I get when I get the focus, when I get the tools. Speaking yes. of which, are you here? Let me put you on game. So have you read Asking Is Given? Oh my God! Oh shit! Off your recommendation. Woke up at three this morning, couldn't <laughs> sleep, started reading, and I got chills in my body just from some of the stuff because I was halfway almost falling asleep. But then some of the stuff in the introduction, I was like, oh shit! It just I felt the power, and I was just like, it was like a strange. I've never felt like that. It was a strange. Right. Cause so I'm only on. I'm only still in the introduction. Okay. I just started. So if you need the if you need the if you need the audio version too for like backup in the house, like because we we need this motivation around us all the time. Yeah. Like something your ass up like a coach. Like I'm so glad you told me about that. Yeah. So he, the um there's the audio version. So okay. It's, it's, it is it, it is like um, I like reading book books. I'm not as big on audio books, but I want to get into it. Yeah. So I'm so that's what happens is because. We're from that old school, like our brains haven't mm -hmm. caught up to like listen, paying attention with audio and then um, reading ebooks. Our brains haven't caught up to, science is faster than people is. 
So yeah. the brains haven't caught up to that. So that's why we're old school. We want to book. Yeah. Like well, what's interesting what's is I stumbled into a session at a conference I was speaking at, and the session was done by Jerry Hicks. And I didn't know who he was. And I remember sitting there thinking, oh, and I was also thinking, I love motivational speaking. I love inspirational speaking. This is what I want to do. Like, I want to speak more. Like, that's me. And I thought he had, I was like, he's old school, but what he's saying is dope. And I was and like. You, and they give you practical steps to get to some place. So I was like, like I can do this. His PowerPoint was so basic. like the cover of this book. So basic. How, I, used like, part, I used to be in part. I used to part with my basic ass PowerPoint selling the world, like. And this man making millions, and I'm just like, I could do this. I'm I, trying to make okay, Lori, fuck with me, and I'm gonna make you rich. That's that's all I need. I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. That's it. I'm, that's the goal. I'm, and I'm talking about some next level shit, like taking care of your whole family type richness. Exactly. So okay, all right. So we got that. Uh, what are we doing for time? Oh yeah, your uh, content uh, creation. You're you're on that. Yeah, so content oh, creation. Um, you got the you. comedian, you got the, no, you got three. You got the the um, St. Louis documentary, you got the comedian, and then you got music. Yes. So um, where do we go from there? Oh, and then the stuff I sent you is just like some weird. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get into like silent films and shit. Uh -huh. So the premise of that is, um, my bad, if I get a little bit of emotion, it's fucking, when I get to talk about Iraq. Come on, man, I'm it. yeah. It's me too. Oh, you're good. So. That war fucked my ass up, but I never dealt with it. Like, and it just came out bad in other ways. Y'all saw it, you know, whatever, yeah. rub shit, fucking fuck, all the other shit. Yeah. But I still somehow found a way to keep it enough together to get a whole ass master's degree. Right. So, but with that, I was all like, I gotta find a way to address this. So I was all like, hmm, Cr create, a, create a different um, alter alias because I have to view myself from another person to talk yeah, about the shit that I did. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I was all like, all right, let me create this person and then to create this character with a mask and then the fucking um, the vest and just kind of go through the different things of anytime like we're getting tortured or, you know, any kind of memories that come up. Because I got partners that killed themselves because they couldn't get oh. all the memories of shit from that. So so that's like a more of a creative. If somebody found it and knew what to do with it. Like, so that's like my little passion project. So it's all I like, think it's kind of dope. I only watched a little bit of it, but I think that I, I don't I don't watch silent films. Not since um, I went to school because I, I studied film when I first went to school. But maybe all you need to do is some context around it with graphic cards. You know, like a setup. Like everything you're telling me right now, huh. I would do kind of like an an intro uh, graphic, what we call title cards. You know, where it kind of sets it up. You, or even think about oh. it like Star Wars. Think about it like Star Wars, where you have the words and they're going up or whatever, and it explains why you're doing what you're doing. Hey, I got you. So you know what? So you know what's happening. What? So a lot of things, so what happened with COVID was, so I'm trying to think, I'm trying to put, I got to find a way to put it. So somehow, some way we're regressed, like we're able to digest older forms of audio. So you remember when everybody went to COVID where everything's virtual meetings. And yeah. so the sound quality is totally different. So you're able to tap into some of the, so, yeah. so like we can listen to like, we could probably live, I can probably make Mr. Music work. I, there we go. You know them old Mr. Shows? Yes. You could do all that. That would be but, dope. Oh, my goodness. I think you just got to have a little bit of setup as to why we're seeing Charlie, what we're seeing. Maybe, yeah, Charlie Trapp. Maybe it's not in the very first second. Maybe it's like five seconds in so people can see how weird it is and how cool it is. And then you kind of interrupt it. Or maybe it's over the actual image or going across the bottom of the screen. You can do it different ways. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You know, so they understand... Like, I think it could be really interesting if you set up the whole thing about being in the war and that's how you process your emotions. Like, to me, that touches a heartstring. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. All right. Uh, let me see. So how'd you, how'd you get into the game? Man, you know all that stuff, I thought. No? I, I mean, for you, I was like, I want to I want to do whatever it is you want to talk about. But, you know, I, I yeah, got into it. We gotta, it's got to be both ways. Come okay, on. okay. I'm a, I'm a collaborative, collaborative. Oh, before, oh, while well, I'm on, since I said collaborative, okay. But, so me and my brother are working on a, um, a consulting firm. Either we, you know what? We don't want to do any of this fucking work. We want to just lead people to where the experts are. Because I got a master of social work, so I just refer out. Uh -huh. so, we're, so we're working on names. Like, enjoy, she said, because I talked to her earlier, just to give you, you know, I'll I, I, I tell y'all shit. That's all good. Yeah. Um, so I was like, she said con con concierge. You know what? I was thinking concierge or the name, what's the name of the, is that a concierge, the motherfucker that advised um, the Don? 
in The Godfather? I don't know. You have, mm, I I'm, don't we're just playing that. around with names. So it was like, we're like creating, I don't know. I'll, you know what? I'll figure it out. Mm. Never mind. You good. It's called The Don. Like, keep it short. Yeah, we'll, we'll, there we go. Don Consulting. There we go. We'll fi- it, it'll work. All right. There we go. All right. So back to you. Uh, I started, uh, I started um, right after law school. I quit law school. I went to law oh, school. We got all that. Never mind. My bad. I got it. There we go. We got that part. Yeah, I remember. Because I, I listened to your damn. Yeah, that's why I was I, like, you do this. I listened to the other ones. Uh, you got to start. I haven't listened to it lately. But your ass need to tap into more shit if you want to fucking get a bigger audience. Ah. If you want me to produce you, baby. Yeah, you got the production skills. Nigga, you want to be bigger than Oprah? Hey, man. Who you want to be bigger than it? Better. Bigger, better. 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 I got you. I can your podcast. If you can keep me entertained, you can you can get a ready to audio. You listen to my podcast. Your shit got boring, man. I'm sorry, cause you was too safe. You was too safe, Lori. Yeah. I was all like, dog. I just I don't know how I don't know how you really get down, but I see that fucking wine cell in the back, and I see how your party people party. Nigga, well, yeah, my boyfriend. He has all this. He's a he's like a master bartender. He's a chef. He does all that stuff. But you don't, know, yeah, I need a drink right now, actually. I need to get you a drink. Nigga, get you a drink. Keep talking, be man. Yourself. Be yourself. That's be what I my students. Like, be yourself in my class. Just don't, just don't tear nobody down. That's it. Uh-huh. I don't know if this line is still good, but anyway. Yeah, you good. Oh, shit, you got the big class. This is my nigga. City girl hey, shit. Hey. I'm telling you, you better hop on these girls' rappers. The girl rappers, who? Um, okay, so who's hot right now? Let me see. I got somebody better. Flo Millie. Ugh, this is gross. Huh? Who's that? You ever heard of Flo Millie? Uh-uh. Send me a link. I, I got you. Hold on. Oh, let me see. open a different bottle. So, let's open this one. Hold on, you good. I'm sending you it now. Okay. Oh, she got a project out now? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She got a project. <laughs> all right, all right. So, let me see. There we go. There we go. Let me send it to you. Because, like, like I said, me and the Joy was in band for four years, so... Didn't you do a podcast too? Yeah, I'll be doing everything, damn it. <laughs> so I was like, you had a podcast. I just remember that. I so okay, so I'll run you through the, my podcast journey. Okay, so hold on, let me do one thing at a time. Woo, Lord, I get distracted. <laughs> um, okay, so let me run through my podcast journey. Yes. So I had a um I was on Twitter heavy, I had a fucking Twitter addiction. Um, mm-hmm. but there was this dude on there named Dante. And he would say some of the wildest ass shit. And I was all like, that's the shit I like. <laughs> like, right. that's the shit I want. Like, old, dirty, bastard type, that type of shit. And this nigga, like, he was an alpha or whatever. And we both had, like, we were both divorced, both in our 30s. Both, you uh-huh. know, and nobody was talking for us. Like, nobody had a voice for us. And so we just started, you know, we got together, you know, went through all that shit and then I called it the Morris and Jerome show. He's dark skinned, I'm light skinned. I would have been Morris and then he would have been the hype man Jerome. Yeah. Uh, see, babe, come on. Now. Oh Morris and Jerome from uh Purple Rain. Purple Rain. There you go. Got and it. So and so so we was just talking about and then just life fucking, you know, he's got kids. I you know had I got busy and shit. And mm-hmm. we could never dog I can like we could never get it going. Like we just had to stop it because it's like too much going on. Um yeah. so I didn't recognize the impact until afterwards. Like, I literally, I was in the basement. You know, the basement in Atlanta where Wally Sparks be spinning and shit, where uh, Janelle Monae used to run a lot of her acts through, like Jadena, St. Beauty. That sounds familiar. I'm like the basement. I know where uh, Cooper How the fuck you gonna be in this game, Lord? And you don't know shit. Hey, man. Hey, man. I got you. I got I've been you. Gone five years. Five years. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. If you want to, scream, I was in a room with Janelle Monae when before she became big. We were in an apartment singing with some another guy named Scar um, and another guy. I can't remember the other guy's name, but yeah, yeah. we, we but, were just all chilling. But right in there, like literally, come some dude out the blue walked up to me. Hey, you know you such and such, less from blah 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 from the. We I used to listen to your podcast, and I was like, oh my god! Like I thought I was gonna try to get back in the game then, but it didn't work. Yeah. Like, oh shit, I got a cult. Like we had a yeah. cult following. 
I need to get all that content out of my fucking old MacBook. That's I'm gonna go up and get all the fucking data. I'm getting, off that back shit. My, I'm getting back on my shit. You better get back on your shit. Cause I got I got interviews from Fonte from Little Brother. Oh. Like, oh. I got early shit. I got early con- I gotta get that content. Um so that didn't like if we could have if we could have kept that game running, I could have I could I could give Joe Budden a run for his money. Like, well then do it. If you don't talk about right, it, do it. If the bright team is around me, I cause Joe Button, or I can make his show better. This nigga be scared. This nigga be holding back. Like I'm like, nigga, you did you 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 know how Joe Button get out, right? Yeah. You done seen his roster right. Well, that, yeah, my story. boyfriend watches his podcast, so I be hearing him and I be like, damn. I quit, I quit listening because I was all like, cause I'm like, they just talking the same shit over and over again. They need you to listen to Deezus and Mero? Not no more. Same shit over and over again. I'm like, I process stuff so fast. It has like it takes a lot for me to like. Same thing with money with with you. Like it took you three hundred fifty dollars to get up and talk to my ass today. I am not charging. You know, so you, you think you're gonna pay me no three hundred fifty dollars? I told you I do it for free. Well, your 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 person, your handler. You said your fee, and I was all like, so whatever. She knows you, my fee, but I told you in my text message. I said it was. I said I would talk to you for free. You know what? I'll Go let back you. To the text. Nigga, I be I be moving so fast. My bad. You, if you send it back, you send it back. Cool. I don't know. If you don't need it, I don't know. Do whatever. No. Did you send it? Yeah. I sent it already. No. Okay. Anyway, I'll send it back. It's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Like, we're friends. Yeah, we cool. Good. Okay. All right. So, all right. Bet. So, when we working like that, if you if you take any of it from this shit, just throw my name out. That's it. Like, just say my. I don't need no money from you. I don't want shit from you. But your knowledge, and I and what I bring to the table. Shit. Let me talk about. I don't even need to fucking hold on. I don't even need to say shit. Yep. This without trying. I've led men. I've been able to make being grown ass men cry. Uh-huh. It's a lot. It's a lot. You've done a lot. Been through a lot. Yep. 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 So we good. Like, you gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep pushing. You can't put your passions down. Like when you're passionate about something, you gotta keep pushing. I'm 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 you you saw DMX the other night, right? Mm-hmm. You ain't see him? He still got that crackhead energy. And that's the shit I'm on. Like I'm with this with this passion dog. Okay, what are we talking about? Let's go back because I've been running through. You shit. were talking about your. We, you were taking me through your podcast journey. Okay, podcast journey. Okay, so Morris and Adjuron. Adjuron. So that you know that went away. Um, I tried to come back with my Red Lake podcast and then telling my story from my um, just my uh, like my war stories or whatever, and like I kind of lost. Tra- I lost. I got lost interest in it. Uh-huh. But then my brother was all like. You had good content. Like I was, I was listening to your stuff. Yeah, like, man. Once again, my brother. If you think I'm like this way, my brother's smarter than me. Like that nigga, he's the next level. Um, where do you mean my kids too? I, I, I created some little fucking. Ah, uh, I can't um, wait. But yeah, he was all like, I really like what you had, and I'm like, I thought that shit was like, I really want to be my authentic self for real. I sometimes got into it. Sometimes I really wanted to talk to us. So if I kept you up there, so what I did was I was all like, okay. I, so I was all like, so I went through, when I worked for the VA, they, they were doing this whole thing with my soldier story, or whatever, they were getting soldier stories. And so I was like, I can use the same format, flip it around, make it my own, try to get mm-hmm. other soldier stories. But the problem I'm starting to have, what I forgot is, don't nobody ever want to talk. Like there's only like so you many- black soldier stories, like just about black men being over there. Like- Yeah, are, yeah I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get black women too, definitely cause- Yeah, black women too. Like that's killer. I mean, especially right now, especially right now. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going ahead, I'm gonna start like the rest of the recordings. I'm gonna just start these next few episodes. I'm just gonna be vulnerable as fuck about my time over there. And then use that and be like, look, we could talk about this shit and you'll be all right. Like we'll guide yeah. you through this. But so that's the project I'm on with that. Like so that. It's called the Red Lake Podcast. Um, so that's what I got going over there. Yeah. Um, what else, what else, what else? How you spell Red Lake? Um, R-E-D-L-E-G. What do you listen to? What's the main format you listen to? Uh, when I'm on podcasts? Yeah. I'm on iTunes. Okay, I got you. Let me get my phone. It's cool. Um, sounds like you have a lot going on. Yes, I do. I am. What scares you? Huh? What scares you? Not a damn thing. Like Lori. Not a damn thing. How many pictures do I need to put up for you to show you how fucking... Hold on, let me... <sighs> Not a damn thing. I gotta show people, I swear. Hold on. It's, it's like you're working because it seems like you're like go, running out of time or something. You have this like, hunger. 
Nah, cause good. I'm just I'm just found my I found my I had a road to Damascus moment. That's what happened. Uh, uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Where's that? Where's that? Hold on. You know what? I just showed my baby mama this shit. So uh, let me see. There we go. Uh, come on, come on. Send. Thank God for technology. Thank God. Okay. Could you come through? Yep, let's see. Oh, damn. Right, so, you were on this? So, no, July 4th, 2000. What were you doing in like July 4th, 2008? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm lying. Right, so, we was out on patrol doing some shit. Why the fuck we was out on July 4th? I have no idea. So we rolling, we rolling, we rolling. I'm like in the in the first or second con part of the truck. And then I hear a dude fucking behind me. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, oh, yeah. right. the whole truck is in flames. So these motherfuckers, they smart as hell. They used to they used to set up like uh and I take mine real quick, triple stack, put plastic on it so we couldn't see it or whatever. So it hit them. Then I was like, oh shit. Then I heard started hearing gunfire. So I was on my fucking machine gun. Or whatever. And so I think it was some pop shit popping off from there, but whatever. But yeah. tell you, I ain't scared of shit. Like the only thing I'm giving a fuck, I only care about my kids. I'll put a butter in a nigga. That's how fucking. That's right. You better. You the like, daddy. You better. A, uh, shit. For my niggas, I will put a fucking. I ain't finna do no felony. You butter, but I'll shoot you in your toe or give you a flesh wound, let you know I ain't playing. Hey, Amen. Uh, so that's the type of shit. I ain't scared. I can feel it. I ain't scared. Man. All right. So now this content production thing, what are your next steps? Like, how can I like give you advice or like, what, what do you, what do you, what do you need for me to help you kind of like get to your next steps? How do I get in? Like, I just need entry. If I have once which I know one entry, though, cause you got three different um, angles, which one? Cause I think they're three, they're three different industries, completely different industries. Let me which one's most point. important to you? Which one are you most passionate about? They're all, that's the thing. Everyone, every, everything, everything, like, I don't have, like, when I focus, I don't have shit. I don't do that fucking what's less than everything is important to me. Everything, because, because it's accountability. Because in the army, they teach you accountability. You're accountable for your time. You're accountable for your personnel. You're accountable. So everything, you have to treat it like, you treat lives. Like, these are people's, like, sons that they're sending you off to war with. So you have to treat everything like, so right. when you say, what's more, I'm sorry, every, you just have to pick. Like, I got... I would say for your for your video stuff, you got to build an audience online. That's gonna be your big thing. You gotta if you can get a million views online, then anybody in the world will talk to you. And that's kind of the measure, right? So even in TV or in uh, content, if you can get a million people to watch your shit, then that says to somebody that you can possibly bring a million people to the table, and they don't have to do that much work to try to do that. So I would say for your content, figure out how to get a million people. Figure out how you can push it out there, how you can make it better. Start looking at your numbers, you know, on YouTube or whatnot, okay. and then see how quickly you can grow them. So like, make a goal, get a million, figure out how, like how quickly you can get there, and then once you have a million, then you're in a good place to pitch it to somebody. Okay, okay, so then pitch. Okay, yeah, because they ain't gonna talk unless they're there. Okay, now, so, everybody wants you to have an audience already. They're like, right, nah, with, right. with, with YouTube and TikTok and everything, like we see people getting four and five million people on something, so. Yeah, so what, okay, so what were you seeing in the TV game? Like, uh, people are starting to come, go, think? yeah, people are starting to go to YouTube creators, even TV One when I was there, they were going to YouTube creators to um, find new content because especially now, now is the time for people who create content um, on YouTube because COVID. All these productions can't happen. So they need to go out there and source whatever content already exists and put it on their platforms to offer to their audience. So it's like, you know, all the fall season TV got canceled, right? Because they can't shoot anymore. So it's like, where are people gonna find content? If you're a content creator, your goal is to be discoverable right now. Make sure that you're in the top searches. Make sure that, you know, uh, you got your audience or you're getting an audience on social. Because right now, people are watching 60% more content than they were before COVID, because you're home. And that's why they're slowing down the internet so you can pay. There we go. All right, hold on. Let me put you on to an app that is going to be, if you can somehow, I'm going to, yeah. Uh, let me see real quick. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. So this is where everything is headed. Okay. 
like this form right here, what I'm sending you is like, what's going to be the next wave? Cause like you said, everybody, like I'm telling, I'm telling my teacher friends, quit your damn job because like my, my kid's mom, she homeschools. So I'm going to be like, Hey, you can teach these kids. Parents don't want to deal with their fucking kids. Come on now. Talked to my friend today, he was like, "We try to figure it out." Because he's like, "I'm not a teacher. I can't do it." And so that's what. You use this, huh? You use this app? Yeah, I've been playing with it. I'm just playing. I'm like trying to see how I can jack. You. I try to figure out the algorithms and then break through them. Like, what what can I get through and work? Uh, my brother, he's he can explain it. Like, he breaks that shit like textbook science. So speaking of which, if you're out down to be part of our little think tank like a WhatsApp think tape or something secure think tank where we literally just bounce ideas off each other, then that's fucking, that's an option too if you're down. I just don't have the time right now, to be honest, because I'm like super slammed with this agency since we're just getting it off the ground. This don't require your time, baby. What it require? Just whenever you, the inspiration hit, you like, damn, a random idea, or you run into a problem with your shit. Like, hey, damn, I'm frustrated. I don't like, this is something I can't, like, this is what I'm confronting. And then somebody, like, between me and my brother, I'll either have the answer for you or I know somebody who will have the answer for you. Got you, got you, yeah. Because I'm over here, like, I got so many projects. I'm over here, like, I got you. Oh. You don't have to, like, you, it's like, it's one of the things when you, when the spirit moves you, like. Yeah. Cool. Good, yeah. Cool. Got you. Awesome. Got you good. <laughs> awesome, works for Okay, you. all right, so, um, so already got that. Damn. Um, key, key junctures in your career. Like, when was it? When did you start recognizing like you were smarter than everybody in the room? That's a nice way to put it. Yeah, um, that's, it. that's why you left. I always, I always had feeling inside of me, and I still do that. I'm like the greatest. Like I'm like I'm not supposed to be regular. I'm supposed to be great. Like like, and at certain times in my career, I felt like I wasn't being great, and so that's what bothers me. Like when I feel like restless, when I feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to do next, I'll get a little depressed. And then I'll be like, okay, what the fuck? I need to figure something out. And then all of a sudden, after all the restlessness, something will hit and I'll be like, that's the move. Mm -hmm. But it's always this weird part. I just told my brother about this, this weird like period of time where I'm just like, I feel like I'm stuck. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. And that's always right before the breakthrough. But it's like, you gotta, you gotta just know it's gonna come, but it's hard it's, when you're in it. It's hard when you're in it. my book. God damn, dog. That's, I've been working on my book. I got a hundred pages of content. Yeah. To show people like you have to go through it. You, you do have to go through this shit. Like you can you cannot be like, creative. You no. can't be great. You people have been trying to recruit me out to LA and I went for a job and I got all the way to the highest ranks, like you know, um to the chairman of Disney Media Networks. And um yeah, and they were about to make me the offer and then they went silent for three weeks and then told me they went with somebody else who popped back up from from when the you back. said but when you initially said three fifty, I was like, that's it. I was all like, this should this is a thousand dollar game, like right. I'm like, it is, it is. And even my, is, my 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 project manager, she's like, she's like, nah, get your and I was like, no, nah. I was like, he's a friend. And I was like, let me talk to him. And I was like, and I forgot to tell her to tell you nothing. But but like for a conversation like this, we're just catching up as friends. Like we're not doing work. We're not doing work for it. Like this stuff yeah, is shit. Oh. If we were doing work, then there would be a fee. But like we're just we're just talking. And I I'm the same thing, because I was in that literally the day I was all like. You came along, and then we were in a meeting, and higher ed is crumbling. Like, ACC oh, is it? about to fail, big time. Like, I got I to gotta scam, I'm finna expose it, they keep on playing my ass. Oh. But, oh, okay, and then I was, I was in a meeting, and I was like, y'all paid me $45,000, and I gave y'all a million dollars worth of game. Somebody, some, somebody getting fucked, right? Somebody, somebody, somebody is, 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 so I'll even tell you that game was going on, and it's sad. It's sad what's going on with these HBCU. So, what is it? so with COVID, okay, all right. Oh, how can I? I need to break it down real quick. So let me start I a thing. I you did this. I didn't even notice you did this cash up. I just went to it now. You good? You good? We fast. We fast movers. I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. So, U of H has always been trying to take over TSU. Okay. Because how it started and stuff like that, they've always been trying to have a reason to take over. Okay. And so the board of regents has slowly moved in, moved our old president out because they found some shit going on in the law school. Uh-huh. What's going on over there or whatever. You look up TSU Law School, all that shit will pop up, blah, blah, blah. So they're slowly moving in. So they moved him, put a CFO in, you know, business nigga, you know, he know more business shit like him or whatever. Um, but they're slowly trying to take TSU away from us. But mm -hmm. like they scamming these kids for these fees. Like, why the fuck would you pay an out-of-state tuition for online education? Like, why? So they're trying to get these kids on these fees. 
they got them like nobody's gonna send their babies to a dorm in Kobe world. Like no. I'm not sending mine. I don't I don't really believe COVID exists, but it does exist. But <laughs> that's a whole nother it does. It's 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 some other shit behind that one. Maybe so. It is, trust me, I know you know it. I know you know, you were in the army, so you know you do know. Yeah. Uh oh, fuck, fuck. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that shit's crumbling. So all these so whoever can go to like just what happened with TV. You don't need these schools anymore. Your direct market is these, these teachers can give the content. So the school that figures that shit out first, donation base, who's willing to pay for it, that's the ones that'll be saved. But these mm -hmm. black people are so fucking slow, man. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Yeah. There's so much pain, so much fucking pain, goddammit. But it's great because yeah, it builds you, but shit. We, we gotta so, do something I'm, about higher ed, yeah. I'm staging, the coup. I'm staging a small little coup over there. Do it. Education needs to be free. I'm down with the Bernie Mac plan. It shouldn't be costing people like arms and legs. Or, or it should be like, okay, once again, I we'll go back to what was that three fifty. Like yeah. I, I thought you were knowledgeable enough to pay you three hundred fifty dollars. I so, know. I'm so honored that you did that. I mean, I appreciate. And I thought, that. and I know you are worth just. No, I need to hype you up real quick. Come on. Hype your ass up, Lord. Come on. God damn it. You. I, I swear. I was all like, damn. I need to cook up with your ass, like, like there's people, there's, I'm on, like, there's, like, I was looking at other people, like, dog, you, I, you was putting my life for a reason, your mama's video was in there for a reason, like, ah. I was like, oh my fucking God, and the fact that, like, the connection between us is so fucking, like, no, you, you are shit, like, if you ever doubt that shit about yourself, like, you are, I'm pretty sure you have parents that told you that, but if you need another nigga's fucking validation, you're the shit. Man, I appreciate that. Like, don't ever, like, you need to walk around this motherfucker. Y'all got a big ass dick around this bitch. You know what? Fuck even that. You got a vagina, because you know what? Vaginas are stronger. Y'all handle way more. Big old one. <laughs> no. I love that, man. I'm, I appreciate that, too. Like, that's bomb, man. That's yeah, bomb. Yeah, you good. You good. What we only hung out a couple of times, but it was just a cool connect. Like, we always had that real cool connection. Yeah, yeah, you good. You good, man. It's like, I got to have friends that I don't fuck. Shit. <laughs> I got <laughs> I need some, I need my delegate. There like, need to oh. be a whole like there need to be a whole group somewhere on Instagram or something like you know. No, if you want to do a dating show, if you want yes. to do a dating podcast, yes. I can take you next level. Now, that would be a good one. Actually, that would be a great one. That would be a great podcast title. Like you remember? You ever heard of horrible decisions? No. Them hoes. Them fuck. I'm so misogynistic sometimes. We gotta have the misogyny <laughs> hour. Shit. See, I love y'all to death, but being we gotta get our shit off sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. I, I gotta control it though. That's a black man thing. White man don't be doing that shit. But yeah, so don't. All right, so horrible decisions. There's these two chicks in New York. All this shit was doing about all the niggas they was fucking. These NBA niggas. All these, you know, like all basically all the shit that they be doing. Get them in threesomes and all types of shit. Man. But that's what they got an audience. They got an audience because it's some ratchet shit. Of course you're going to get audience. It's like me. Now you got to do smart ratchet shit. You got to, you got to, you got to. Oh, put... totally agree. I'm not going to knock them for getting that coin. Get your yeah, coin. Yeah, yeah, If that's your real life, do you. But when it comes to dating, you got to talk about the fumbles, dog. The fumbles are the times. My funniest, my funniest stories are the times I didn't get no ass. Well, my, people have been reaching out to me about my podcast. Like, oh my God, I love your podcast. People I don't even know. I thought it was just people I knew listening to it. But the people I don't know, they're like, I love your podcast. When are you coming out with new episodes? Like, I, it really spoke to me. One girl told me she cried during the episode. She felt like I was talking directly to her. And I was like, that gives me hope. So now I'm just getting my mojo back because I've had to figure out how to cross that bridge. And like, it's 38 and dating, but now I've been in a relationship for two years, you know? So I got to figure out how to like, like bridge that gap and bring people up to speed oh. with where I am now. And we're still dating, right? So it's still 38 and dating, right? But it's a different, it's, I'm in a different, um, stage of it so you talk about all the shit that fucking like because i got a got me a little girlfriend you know i was all like oh shit from atlanta whatever and she oh, was all like i was all like you gotta to, to earn my like to to be with me full time you gotta go through some shit because <laughs> you were with some girl hot and happy when we were in atlanta no okay you saw that's what you saw at the moment no, i thought that was i thought no i just yeah, like, yeah no 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 she broke it see that's what happened she broke up my ass i fucked my ass all up i went to a deep dark depression it was right around the time my dad was going I'm through sorry, shit, parents, of course. It's all good. Shit, that's the best thing she could have done for my ass. But 
So I got me a little girl, you know, a little girlfriend now, and like she's been in Atlanta, but you in Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she'll come out. She's a creative, so it works. Um, But like the first few weeks is like the first few weeks of like getting around each other. It's all like you got your quirks, I got mine. Yeah, it's like you're you to get to the quirks. That's a good podcast title. Get into the quirks. There, and we live together, so it's the same thing. It's like you got to learn how to live together. Live I can fix life. anybody's relationships. Like I can, I'm like, look, nigga, you ain't look here, look here, nigga. You you need to you first. You need to earn, nigga. You need to have something fucking. You need the stability, and you need some money, bro. And then Burr. somewhere, somewhere down there, it's like if you got money and stability, any the other shit, you can fall, whatever. You yeah, that's true. So just all, I can fix it's everybody. Else. Are you good? Like if you mu- if you making money, if you yeah, got stability, that's cool. And then tell, and then women, hey, quit nagging that nigga so much. Like <laughs> instead of so here's how. You, okay, I'm finna, I'm finna preach, preach. So what you do is so I learned this in my um. When I was in, I was doing my clinical rotation for the VA and had a black woman supervisor and I could always write. I've always been good at writing and shit, but just trying to write in a clinical style, like yeah, it's just something right. I had to pick on real quick. And she just kept saying, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And I'm all like, you ain't telling me how to get better. Like, all you doing is telling my deficiencies. Like, Hi. I could take criticism if you tell me like, okay, I saw what you did here, but yeah. if you add this, if you add some sauce to it, shit like that. And so- right. That's what we men need. Like, hey, baby, I get it. I get it. You trying to do this, but help me. Let me help you take you to the next level, nigga. Cause that's how you get to it. You gotta learn how to be this nigga, mama, and not be his mama. It's it's some psychological. That's a tricky one, right there, boy. I can I can I can put you. you can't on never that. replace mama. Mama has got that. Like mama is in a whole different game. What you got, Lori? What you got between your legs? I got a punani. <laughs> a vagina. There's the only thing, the only thing that fucking, the only thing that niggas will give up, only only thing that will make a dude to give up pussy is heroin. That's it. Or he don't like pussy. So weird. Watch these. Oh, Lori, why are you not on YouTube? Man, I got a million things going on. What are you talking about heroin? Let me start. Okay, so I've been watching, because I, so in Atlanta, I work for Chris 180. So I really learned how to, I got into the homeless population. So I learned about coordinated housing. I learned the scam that Atlanta's running with the housing and all that shit. Oh, okay. I know bottoms, y'all try to support our ass, but some shit's going on. There's some there's sketchy shit with housing. Um, that scams run, we, we running scams on poor people, dog, with the housing oh. part. But I got around how, uh, homeless people, and I was like, cause I've been homeless before. Like I've been couch surfing with two kids and a wife. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't never going back to that shit. Yes. So I was all like, so I started watching. So I watched other people's fuck ups. I was like, so I watched these. Uh, there's this Invisible People series on Netflix, um, not Netflix, but YouTube, and he okay. just do just talks to these guys on heroin, and he they was all like, I would get my life together, but this heroin is so damn good, and I'm I just I just keep myself from getting sick. I gave up to hear a straight man say he gave up pussy for heroin. I was That's like, get away from that shit. Uh, I was about to say, get how do they act when they're on heroin? I don't even know. Like my boyfriend can recognize it. I don't recognize it. He said they have a lean when they, you know. Don't lean. You never watched The Wire? No, I got stuck at season two. Okay, so, was so boring, and everybody's like, "Well, just skip season two. And I'm like, "No, oh, Lori, Lori. Okay, so okay, let me let me help you with season two. This is another fucking thing. I'm gonna help break people break down certain shit. So yeah. okay, all right. So season two is a setup for Trump. All right. So imagine. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right. All right. So let me sell you on some shit. All right, so white people weren't getting listened to. The the blue collar white man was not getting a voice. So these okay. are the Polacks and the, you remember the Polacks? Yes. They were not getting a voice. So what were they? So what were they doing? They needed. They wanted the voice. That's all the fuck they wanted. And for these 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 Christian conservative, these poor ass white people, Trump is that they can get all they shit off. That's all they want. So if you look at second season of Wire, it should, it one it shows you where's all this dope coming in from. What, what's the shit that's happening? What are all these bodies? It sets you up for everything else. Like with Prop Joe, where's, right. how's he's able to get this better dope than fucking Westside Avon Barksdale is? Um, I shit, I don't fuck with Stringer because Stringer a bitch nigga because he wasn't about that life and you saw that's why he ended up getting killed by some real ass niggas. See, don't be spoiling the show for me. Oh, my bad, my bad. I thought I you knew. Get that season two. Okay, season two. Watch it, watch at it with a new lens. Okay, I'm gonna go back from the beginning because I need to go start it again. You watch know? that in, with a new lens. Like, watch yeah. it. Watch Jake it from a watch it all over again. He, it was like, what, eight seasons? Yeah, it's five. It's five. Oh, so, five. here we go. In order of best seasons, because 
I ah, uh, that's how one I, I thought was dope. Huh? Season one I thought was dope. Three and four. Three and four of the bag. Like if you put them in albums, uh three and four with the equivalent of Aquimini. And then whatever they put afterwards. Those whatever Outcast's greatest works are, two albums. Oh my god. That episode, those are season three and four. Season one falls in under that, and I'll give season two the last season is the worst season because writers don't know how to end shit. Mm. Like they they just start the right getting, guy that created the wire too. They, yeah, they start they start getting these crazy ass fucking narratives. Like that's what happened with the shield. It got crazy. Nip Tuck got stupid crazy. They just don't know where to go. They don't know how to end shit. Like the Sopranos. Don't nobody know fucking the best end. The best show um, is uh, one of the best shows is fucking um, what? Uh, Breaking Bad. Cause I gotta watch that. My brother just told me about it yesterday. He's like, you gotta watch Breaking Bad. Cause I was like, I don't even know how you cook meth. We were talking about people that make meth, and I was like, he's like, you don't gotta learn, learn, learn. Look at it from a money. I don't want to learn, but I just no, 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 no. How this, they see, so what happens is, is people start. This is what I was finding like when I was in my social work. Um, fucking field or whatever. Um, so I was looking at things from a holistic lens, like everything, all these right. moving parts, because you got to an arm, you got to know everything's going on the battlefield. Right, right, just right. Just that quick. Teachers mm-hmm. look in from a one way lens. So when you start looking at shit from, or if you start shooting from one lens, or you have your personal pain in the way, you're not open to receive, receive the information. Like the, that book you read, asking it is given, and I'm going to put you on some other books too to get you to know, I got you. Yeah, I love it. You would those. not have been ready. Like, 21-year-old Lloyd would have fucked all that nah, shit. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. You would, have, you would have been like, oh, I'm mad. You would have messed it up. Yeah. That, everything, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That whole thing about, like, Abraham being a collective of voices, I was like, Ooh. Because think about it. Come on now. You know how many voices you got in your head on a daily basis? I know I count at least five. A full committee. And they all want a voice, right? And so people- I mean, I was up at three in the morning and I was like, I was hungry, I got something to eat. And then I read that book. Cause I was like, let me just do something chill. And then I was falling asleep, but it was almost like it was like seeping into my mind. It was just, it was crazy. You're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, fuck what I was about to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I talked my crazy ass ideas. Connie is probably gonna get elected. Uh, Who? Did I, oh, I, I ain't throwing you that theory. Okay, all right, all right. So Kanye, I got seven minutes, but Kanye ain't getting elected. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something else is gonna happen. But the mask predicted the 2020 election. Whoever can get Jim Carrey's a mask, whoever can out Trump Trump, that's who's gonna win. Um I can I can save Andrew Gillum's career. I can save that nigga career. You think he's gay? He is gay, damn it. That nigga, that nigga wanna fuck niggas and do drugs. They said he was like, yeah, he was Lori, talking. Lori, Lori. He Tom got a whole wife and kids. That's why my heart hurts. I don't care if he's gay. Lori. He got a whole wife and kids. No, no matter. Because you know what? She knew about that shit. She knew what she signed up for. Mm-mm-mm. You got to know your man. Oh, no. Lori, Lori, y'all don't be knowing us. We be hiding shit from y'all. Mm-mm, not like that. You know if you know what he likes. Either, either, either you got to. Lori, Lori, how many, how many of your friends got gay, got tricked? How many I think old? one of my girlfriend's husbands is gay, but I mean, I just with all you never know. with all fucking you know clarity. Occasionally, from time to time, I like the track with a nigga from time to time. So there we go. Uh, you do? Just, hell yeah! I had to see. I I had to figure that shit out later. Uh huh. Right, because you know. But do you tell shit. people? Do you consider yourself bi? Nah, I'm more of like people. Like where it I? doesn't matter if you're. I feel, a like, man like, or I feel trying to figure it out because it's all like oh shit before i left atlanta life was all like hey nigga you need to figure this shit out before you leave and so mm-hmm. it was like ah oh, fuck and the sounds were always there a little bit but then it's all you try to suppress shit that's how but i why know would you let yourself go fully there like why don't you just let yourself like because it's that religion it's that fucking so it's a lot of self-hatred it's like i was going through a lot of psychological like self-hate and like, i didn't know how to love myself until i had to learn to hate myself first so oh, Lord. So I had to deal with that. So we're, it's cool. It's working out. Niggas are way too much. I don't know how y'all date us. Shit. Fuck ah, this. why are niggas wait? What depends? And if you like the macho type niggas, or if you like nah, like the nah, like. Nah, 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 nah. I'm into some dominance. Like, nigga, do what the fuck I say all this shit, whatever. But that's a whole. Oh, different. you're the dominant one. Hell yeah, I was. I was in the army. Out, yeah, nah. I would never submit to another man. Fuck that shit. My nigga, be my dad, be my ass. That means that you're at the top. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. 
So with that, that's how I knew. Embrace yourself, though. I mean, it's like that's the thing that I I feel bad for people is when you when you don't feel like you can just fully enjoy who you want to enjoy. You got to. You got to. That's why. That's what happened with Andrew Gillum. Like he tried to suppress all that shit. He couldn't be himself, and he's he got holy married. Like why would you get like? Okay, if you didn't know when you got married that you had those tendencies or that you were attracted to men, then cool. But if you knew before you got married, then that makes my heart hurt because it feels like you you weren't able to to fully explore yourself. You say that, but there's been so many times, even through my journey, when I was like presented as a fully ass, straight ass nigga. Once again, you're privy to conversation. Black women are so homophobic, like a motherfucker. Like y'all- So if you say bye, then then they will run away. And that's what you're scared of. Yeah, so black women like Dale, like, you yeah we y'all don't want like it's just it's a whole homophobia thing that comes. My from- boyfriend was watching Boomerang on HBO and he said that was it Boomerang yeah he said that they wrote one of the guy characters as bisexual but it seemed like it was like uh, gratuitous you know like they didn't explore like the it was, com- it was probably the dude that that the you know, some creative cats are usually the one who created Star and Jay like he that's the part of the one Star and Jay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he so. But he was like, but they didn't even explore like the conflict within that. They just kind of said, oh, he's thinking about men and women. He was telling women openly, like, oh, I like both. And I was like, niggas don't tell women have, that openly. How, how much How much pool do you have in the TV game? Mm, I mean, it depends. I don't green light shows, so I don't have that kind of pool. I'm a marketer, like, so it's like things have to be packaged and done before. Do you have somebody that can get to the green light? Only people I know for that is TV One, but they're super conservative. If they want to survive, if TV wants us to survive, they better. Fuck I got a call today from somebody at TV One saying, "Get me the fuck out of this place because these motherfuckers don't care. They just they." they so don't create care. your own network. So create. So I was thinking, like you said, if I do, I could run a whole movie off that nigga. But need to say back to Andrew Gillum. That motherfucker just did this. Like whatever happened. He's going now. Did he get divorced? No, no, no. So what's happening? So watch. Go look at his Instagram. So I'm gonna tell you something. So what the, when I was looking at, I was spotting him, and I saw right behind him he had his wife and kid, whatever. He's still trying to play that image. No, nigga. No, that's my thing. It's like just enjoy who you enjoy and be you. Like, don't try to be what society, what you think society wants you to be. Just be that's, you. That's easy for y'all women because y'all have more outlets. Y'all have way more outlets to be yourselves than men do. Trust but me. But I guess the hard thing for men, uh, black men especially, but maybe all men, because, is if you're bisexual, women ain't gonna be down with that. They're gonna be like, nah, you just do that. Like, I'm, I'm good on that. But y'all still want to entertain both. Yeah, you entertain who the fuck you want to entertain. Like, you can't, because you can't help. Because when people are in the womb. Oh, did you watch Love is Blind? Yeah, yeah, I watched that, yeah. Where dude that, was gay or I could have, because his ass, he wasn't confident in his shit. And he, he didn't he, tell her up front. No, he, because he didn't tell her up front because he was afraid of what she was going to say. So Go fear, keeps you, fear keeps you from saying a lot of shit. Like, but like, do you tell women, like when you date them, like, like does a girl in Atlanta know? Yeah, she knows. I don't, I don't. If you I don't, tell somebody, like, when do you tell them? Like, in the first, like. In the front. In the front end. You got to be confident with your shit. I the same thing, like, you got to be confident. You got to plan. You got to be, you got to, the same thing how was was business. You got to come. I respect with, that. Just be up front. Like, you got to become you know. correct. Like, hey, this is, this is, this is what you, like, this is what might trip you up, shit like that. Come with that and you good. So. You're very then, progressive. That's good. I know. I know it's tough. Cause you gotta be willing, but I think it's easier to risk it in the beginning because you don't have a real attachment yet. It's like just put it out there. It don't matter. I, don't, I, I want people to be able to come out whenever the fuck like they want. Like it's because people's journeys are so different. Like some people may figure it out. Like, um, oh dude, the Kardashian motherfucker. It took him all them years to finally be himself. Caitlyn. Uh, Lamar. Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce. Like he wanted. He he felt like he was a woman, but he just couldn't do it. He all yeah. He always felt. He was always probably looking at them blouses. Probably like I saw them colors. He I was like dressing in his daughter's clothes. Right. But the sad thing is, is that he felt she felt like she couldn't be who she wanted to be. Like that's sad. That's, and that's what happened. Like when the black community with um uh Marvin Gaye. Now we gotta get off time too. But Marvin yeah, Gaye. Yeah, I'm always the guy talking. He'll call me. Over. So. Yeah, just with Marvin Gaye, that, that self-hatred. He ended up killing his own son over that shit. Was he gay, too? His dad was a cross-dresser. Marvin Gaye's? Marvin Gaye's dad was a cross-dresser. Oh, I didn't know that. O.J. Simpson, his dad, cross-dresser. There's Why did Marvin, did Marvin Gaye's dad shot him? Yep. Mm-hmm. O. J., and look at O.J. Simpson. His dad was a cross-dresser. If you listen to that, if you watch that O.J. documentary. There's a whole, like, revitalization. Like, people just need to let people live. Just live. 
Yeah, it's all people. You're good. But all right, cool. We are at the end of our time. I'm gonna cash app you this bet. This was just a catch up. This was not work. If it was work, then I would be like, okay. But this is just a good catch up. I'm good. glad we had to talk, man. Yeah, I am always available. If you ever need like encouragement, anything else, if you feel like some of your life ain't working right, trust me, I I didn't got niggas to run through fucking wall brick walls through me. So for me, so I'm always Absolutely. here. You can pick my brain, like free information. Okay. I got you. Thank I appreciate you. Oh, that. Thank, it was no, thank so you. good. Thank you for me. No, it was so good. I'm glad. I, I enjoyed this thoroughly. This is the right thing I needed right now at the moment. So thank you. Okay, cool.